Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Just One More Orchid channel. My name is Natasha. If you're new, please do not forget to like and subscribe. And we're gonna go and do our usual Sunday, oh, Saturday, sorry, weekend, I meant, uh, walk through my garden, see what's new. Let's go. So pretty much we've been having really, really rainy days like you remember we had no rain and then of course it started going crazy insane that includes the bugs that includes everything all those florida pleasures so what's new i don't know maybe some things i showed you before so forgive me if i'll show it again this is my ashley lawson from Brethren. This weekend we were debating with my mom to go to Cruel Smith. They're having the weekend sale. If you are far, you can visit their website. They're having crazy sale. Here's their website. Come here, you. I don't know who you are, but you are one of the almost dead ones. When my orchids are almost dying, the last resort is my clay plaque and look what happened i'm pretty sure no that's accent lying i thought there was mike um blue ridge mike from north carolina beautiful looks so good on the plaque right after i'm finishing this video i'm gonna go and make some clay black something eagle looks very cute on that plaque and as you can see the signs are here too much water but it loves it was really really in a bad shape as you remember i put them up front of my house uh, they liked it during the winter but then as the summer action started they started really showing the signs of stress and not happiness so i moved them down here and i repotted some of them into that um, new zealand fern media god that that thing makes tremendous difference these are all see what happened when i moved them look at this explosion crazy so when they're happy they're gonna thank you look at that Crazy. You can see the signs of stress before and look at it now. Look at that right there. I fertilized them yesterday. I did the seaweed and uh, something else in there. That's the, from Palmer. I love their, their fertilizer. Here's a little Martha. You know, there's one little Martha that I... I'm wondering about these leaves. Almost look like they are variegated. We'll see what happens. I say little Martha because that's the Martha orchid. Creation of Christina Miranda. Um, yeah, so what's going on here? This thing, no matter what rain there is, it's dry. Well, it's still a little wet. It's dry next day. That's a bulb of film for opposites. My gigantor. Okay, so I was saying the New Zealand... See the miracle? I remember what I was talking about. New Zealand uh, tree fern that they sell now in like a shredded shape. Not as a plaque or like brick look these were not good looking orchids kind of i was in the in the mood and i repotted quite a few of them probably three weeks maybe a month ago look at those roots yeah so many say it's excellent source for the phalaenopsis specifically and uh, paphiopidilums but it's kind of expensive our little olive 
Ollie Par Palmer has a spike. Nice. Yeah, so what I see, the results of that tree fern. Look at that. Yeah. Little girl. Uh, I bought mine at Palmer again. So I'm sure the like real orchid suppliers will have it. Look, here is uh, Orchid 365 Little Pot. And I put Brethren Orchid in it. Look at this. This has all happened right after I repotted them. That is what? I don't see the name of the orchid. And then again, these were in a pretty bad shape. You can see the leaves before I repotted it. Look at the leaves since I repotted it and I got the spike and these absolutely crazy root action. I know, by the way, if you are going to visit, and I'm still not sure, maybe I'll go on Sunday to Crow Smith. It's, I love that place. I love the people. Frank is the best host ever, Julian, and the whole crew is simply, you just go like visiting your family members um we'll see uh ofe is that is a guest at that sale and i'm sure they will have it unless they sold out on it but if you just visit cruel smith if you leave ne ne nearby that's a given look at this mm -hmm. that's what the really good rain does to them I don't even remember where did I get it from. Maybe from uh, Wilson. So there, there's lots of action here and there. You, you always look like you're dead. Yeah, so me, I'm planning on being at OFE, which is in Homestead, OFE Orchid Supplies, uh, next weekend as a vendor. So that's why I'm debating to go or not to go to Crow Smith because I need to make stuff. This thing is exploding there. And it's got the pet with it. So I ripped the uh, pet out. This is one of the plants from Gold Country, the Allen. Koch from California. He is the always a vendor at Venice. I love his plants. His plants do so well with me here in Florida, even though they are, you know, brought from California and all this transition. Nope, they do really well. Um, and this is my daycare. Now, these are missing plants because I saw how not well they were doing. Like, look at this one. And this one versus the others they definitely like the moss the best but I decided to um, you know experiment look at the moss one this is not bad but I don't think it's as good as the moss these are my baby symbidiums and they definitely eh, about the bark mix so, who else is blooming? This thing been blooming for a while. And some people even told me, why are you not showing it? Look at her. Clam orchid. I can never remember the cochleata something. Heavy. <laughs> Let me put it back. I am... Yeah. Very interesting. And she's been blooming for the longest time, as you can see, sequential, too. I simply pull it out of her plastic pot, stuck it into this pot, put some rocks around it, and she is, as the clam orchid should be, happy as a clam. These are, oh, yeah? Look what we got. Vicky should be proud of me, you. This one was not looking good. I put it in this thing, and I don't think it's still looking good. Um, 
Oh, it's, ow! They're biting like crazy. This one passed away. Okay. No. Ow! Okay, let's go see what else is here. Yeah, there's one more. Paphiopitalum I put in it. It looks very, very happy. So, this is called New Zealand Tree Fern Medium. The... Hmm, surprise. They're everywhere. This one is very, very ready to go, but... And we have the beautiful sounds of Boo drinking his water. This Lady Jane finally decided to bloom. It's a Shamborkia. Unfortunately, I don't know the name. I have it for millions of years. I swear, like at least five. I got it from Accent Orchids from Brett. One of my very first visits. Maybe I should go back to that video. So I don't have a tag for it. But Shamborkias, they're so cool looking. Look at those waves and curls very fancy you know what nope no fragrance just checking tessa 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 come here tessa you never know if tessa stole something while she ate a beautiful piece of um grass on her ear okay who's blooming that was the point, right? My gold Goldschmeldianum is blooming. It's quite a view. Dendrobium. This one is from MAC Orchids. I have three colors. There's pink. They, they have different names, but mac orchids there's an information mac i think is in fort lauderdale and he is one of the dedicated dendrobium growers i have also this like coral color and that is different name than and this one is white this is this one okay it's very cool not fragrant it kind of looks dead with these sticks and then boom, out of nowhere. Charles! It's Charles and Tessa today accompanying me. Hey! Tessa is drinking yummy water from the pot. And Sia is checking, yeah, for other trouble. And that's Bruce. We got them all! Doesn't matter what they do, right? And here is me trying to kill myself. Okay, let's go. I don't know, I'm catching everything today with my feet triply a couple of times now this thing this time this is the hawaiian leopard uh, blc is acting weird the flowers lasted for like i swear two days maybe this one is dead i cut one for my uh, jewelry experiment by the way it was it just for the frog that jumped down oh my god love nat nature love nature i need clippers yeah so when i'll be at ofe i'll be bringing my jewelry for sale for the first time so if you're interested come on over it will be this upcoming weekend probably i'll only do saturday there will be possibly a big surprise for you guys i will do a video over there visiting somebody's house somebody that you know somebody that you all like a little little itty bitty intrigue a lot of gold and this one is that vanda from palmer she has it all Beautiful. Look at those freckles. Look at those colors. It has a very long name, if you ask me. So, what else is happening? Charles is breaking something. 
my sanguinea is blooming and blooming every possible directions and you see i'm thinking that's that rain the rain is very very heavy so i don't think the blooms like it sanguinea there's flower talking to you or diego my cat it's saturday morning and they're all demanding on their meals even though we're just walking the dogs which means they walk they eat and then it's cat's turn these this uh air plant simply gorgeous they're such a good addition to your orchid oh see as we were talking one flower fell off just one left come on flower yeah so and i don't even know where did it go can't see it on the floor anywhere okay so this is this and who else who else who else my reggae girl this you know is blooming for years now this one is from brethren uh the sequential bloomer they all like this weather not all but so far all but then i see when we'll have way too much moisture that might be a problem i'm not watering them at all you know it's because there's charlotte charlotte hi looking for trouble there's a boogie on your eye ew yeah yeah so pretty much here's my beautiful vanda tarot vanda this one is from that what i call community pot I made this like a tube shape structure from the chicken wire and whatever I have, uh, you know, unknown, dying kind of vandas, I stuck them in here and you know what? They love it. They all bloom. Like it, it's going down, Miss Hokeem. I told you I found her, the hurricane ripped her out and I thought it's dead. It never bloomed for me. I stuck her in here and she bloomed. This one, I'm... Um, I would say is from Plantio probably. I usually get my pretty tarot vandas from Plantio. They always have some cool ones. Bruce, we're missing you. There it is. The man, the legend. Inside. Itching together. Here, a better view at trouble. Brucey, Brucey hates camera. Look, Bruce, Bruce, you want to go for a walk? Nope. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, now he's going to be barking here and there. Yeah, so pretty much that's it. There's this one, but you've seen it before. Did you see it before? That's the one that I lost the tag. So, I know it is from Palmer, but I lost the tag. so cool so yeah things are happening we're gonna have an event next week first time in i don't know how long i had the naples show the gulf uh, coast but it was one single event now i'm gonna be doing all the shows so far i'm planning on be at the ridge orchid society show which is I believe the end of september and then the very beginning of october tampa orchid club i am a vendor over there as well and so this weekend if you're watching on saturday sunday i believe Crow smith will still have that show i'm not sure it's a sale and they have tremendous discounts there you can also shop online this time they didn't forget about the people from far far away so shop over there and i don't know if i'll make it to Crow smith or not we will see but at this point you probably noticed i have less flowers because they're all being cut <laughs> and then they're all being dried the sun i'm positive is from plantio like i said very hard to read tag i bought it as one and now it's three and they're absolutely gorgeous. 
also the Territ Vanda and the sun sets on one of my orchid what do we call them I forgot sleeve yeah so look at all the roots they really enjoy this rain because we had a really really dry couple of months let's get through this thing Aye. my project remember the stick with the orphans everyone is attached all these or or orchids I found here and there on the floor after the hurricane and I decided to give them one more chance right here on this bamboo Bruce there is Bruce just for a second and it's it's loving it it's really nice and it looks cool you know if we're gonna be doing the show with my orchid society I can just use it for decorations very easy to do you just find that thick bamboo and off you go here what are we doing here how are you this is one of the this is the orangus from I don't remember I'd say some Californians don't remember these dendrobiums are sleeping this guy is fine everything is under control there's my trimmed vanda and I think that's gonna be our final now let's go to the purple one I just wanted to show you and to her mama this is one of my adopted orchids that I put in this basket just as an experiment look at this girl go she is in love here's our entertainment a little late today look how much she loves it and I love 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 this Vanda the tag Vanda Venita Sky and it's just finished blooming with this one and it gave me another spike and it's very long lasting you probably seen her in my every video because she's simply stunning okay I think that's it my Hoyas I think that's it I hope you're having a good weekend so Talk to you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.